Uh oh, I forgot to empty out the old Porta Power shakeout bag after the last job, which I always like to start fresh. On these Porta Powers, you see the light coming through the holes there? That's your filtration, basically. And if those holes are plugged, you're not going to get much suction. You can see, you know, they're moderately plugged. But being a cleaning nerd, I always like to see what I got out of each one. So I'm going to go dump this out in the uh, customer's outside trash can. I never want to do this inside because it's going to be a little dust bomb going off. And make sure it's their trash and not their... Oh, look, somebody's been vacuuming. Oh, man, look at all that dog hair. So that's cool. They vacuumed uh, as they moved out. And just for the heck of it, I think I will... Uh, this is why carpet cleaners never get sick. Because we deal with this kind of loveliness all the time. Nice. I will put in a... Uh, I'm going to put in a, a fresh bag in the Oric and do one of my world-famous uh, Oric vacuum bags, disembowelments to show you what I got out of that, that uh, consumer vacuumed carpet. So some carpet you luck out and you get all the, the lint and pet hair out in one swipe and others, depending on the type of dog or cat hair, have more of a Velcro effect and you really got to go at it. When needed, I'll run the, uh, the gadget along the baseboard too. Not that the customer will ever notice that I did it, but they'll notice that I didn't do it. It's important. Remember that. All right, finished the edging. Haven't peaked yet. Let's see if it was worth it. I love this Hoover. Uh, one, it's fantastic for upholstery. You're not fighting uh, the short hose on most upright vacuums. And the thing always falling over, and they're just, you know, uprights are meant for edging with a little foot-long hose on there. But you tell me, was that worth going around the edges for? And granted, I'd say more than 50% of the homes I do don't need edging. The, the housekeeper or the homeowner does it. Uh, as you saw, this guy, there's a bachelor living here, he already vacuumed, but it's really hard to see the hair and junk that accumulates on the edges. And this is far from the worst I've ever seen, but you can see the size of that bag. Uh, that was definitely worth it, you know, because no, no upright vacuum cleaner, particularly the Oric, they're the worst of them all as far as edging. You know, look at the gap. That's why they put this little mustache on there to help, help uh, dig out that kind of stuff. In theory, it's supposed to get sucked through the little channels there. Sort of works. Certain certain types of dust and whatnot, I've seen it work. But pet hair like that is like Velcro. It really sticks. So very important step, particularly on a new move-in. You know, you don't know if they got allergies to the last dog or whatever. So if you're a premium carpet cleaner, always start with edging. You know, there's a, there's a few reasons to pre-vacuum a carpet prior to... Any cleaning method, whether you're bonnet cleaning or steam cleaning. And one, obviously, is to get as much dry soil out as possible. Uh, a lot of carpet cleaners say, oh, I asked the homeowner to do it. And if you go watch 100 homeowners vacuum the carpet, they go and search for things to vacuum up. Oh, there's a leaf. There's a Lego head. There's a, there's a whatever. And they're all over the place. When a professional vacuums, you know, we know where to go. The entry areas, I should say, we know where to spend more time. Entry areas get hit in multiple directions. We spend more time on the backstroke because that's the way most vacuums are designed to pull out the dry soil on the, the backstroke like this. And equally as important, when you get the pile going in one direction, and any good vacuum will lift the pile, physically lift it. And I'll show you that in a second. Get to go in one direction so that you can see subtle little spot, spots and spills that don't show up when it's loaded with footprints. So it kind of gets you intimate with the carpet and you know where to spend more time. And I've, I've talked to other cleaners about this and they, 
you know, almost demand the, the vacuum it, even if you know it was done properly or they have a really good house cleaning service or they're just extremely clean people and you're probably wasting your time by vacuuming, you still, you, you learn something about it and not to be corny, you kind of form a relationship with the floor and it's the, the, the first steps in developing that relationship before you start beating the crap out of it. <laughs> That's a good way of looking at it. Anyhow, let's, let's watch the, the pile lift. You can see the uh, the auric brush roll, which it always amazes me when I see people on YouTube complaining about the brush roll. They, oh, it's too soft. It's no good. Uh, in my opinion, it's the best brush roll of any vacuum ever made. Uh, the tufts are, are huge, and they obviously stick down and really uh, intermingle. See that? fluffs up the pile and what it does you know it opens up the tuft so that the the airflow created from the fan can lift the dry soil out full point and there's so many popular vacuums out there that you can tell that the, the brush roll is not digging into the carpet and these guys never take the time to wonder or analyze why their bag lasts them three weeks before it fills up. Oh sure, it's HEPA certified and it's got bells and whistles that tell you when the carpet's clean and a built-in scalp massager and house painter and all the rest of that BS. But, it doesn't get the damn dirt out. And you know, I, I use clear-cut vacuums all different types for years and years and got sick of the constant filter cleaning that they needed and just the cheap construction on all those vacuums. They just fall apart all the time and some of them are pretty expensive. And they're very heavy. Uh, clear cut vacuums, a lot of the weight is up high. These Oryx are uh, feather light. And I'm not getting any younger so I'm switching over. I've designed my whole system to be as lightweight as possible, yet remaining very effective. And I get to cheat a little bit here on the high chaparral due to our low humidity. We're probably uh, 12, 12 to 15 percent humidity today and it'll be in the mid-90s. Carpet's dry dang near instantly. Uh, like I said, you always hit the, the entry areas, pivot points, where the dog sleeps, front of the couch, in a couple directions. And that's usually good enough. Uh, I don't have wick back issues, which is where you didn't get all the, enough soil out and you left the carpets too wet. And the soil that's still at the bottom wicks or travels to the tips of the yarns as it dries. Carpets dry from the bottom up. And if you leave too much soil in the bottom, it's going to show up in the surface within a couple hours, if not sooner. So a good thorough vacuuming and yeah, excellent lawn technique keeps that from happening. show you those tufts. Look at that, one-handed, one-handed. See those babies? Look at those. Now go, now go flip your shark or your, your hoover over and compare the size of the tufts. I mean, these are, these are uh, huge in comparison to any other vacuum. Ooh, there's my little edger tool I forgot was in there. Sometimes I gotta really dig it out. And you can see how they kind of stick out of the, the vacuum orifice just enough to let the air. And what I like about the orc is the vacuum port is centralized. A lot of vacuums, it's way off to one side, so you don't get that good airflow over on this, you know, the opposite side. Centralized suction is important in, in a uh, dirty style meaning the dirt goes through the fan and essentially ejected into the bag. 
And you don't want a, the side entry. All right, enough vacuum geek talk. Let me get to work. All right, showtime. Let's see what we got. Off it comes. The tidy little bag. One job. Remember, it was, it was vacuumed by the prior homeowner. It's hard to do one-handed. Hold on. And da -da -da -da. nice. That is that one house, living room, dining room, three bedrooms. Already been vacuumed. Right? <laughs> Workhorse, give me a break.